our solar system, the neighborhood where we reside in the universe. This is the gateway to understanding how the universe works and astronomy as a whole. Yet the average person knows so little about it. For this channel's debut, the solar system explained. At the heart of our solar system, we have the sun. It's a mid-sized star, about 1.4 million kilometers across. It's been burning for over 4 billion years, and it keeps everything in our solar system in place. Without it, our solar system would fall out of order pretty quickly, at least in astronomical terms. The sun also enlivens the solar system by providing warmth and energy to all of its planets. Speaking of those planets, there are eight of them. Sorry, Pluto. These eight planets can be classified into two groups, the smaller rocky planets and the much larger gas giants. Mercury is the first planet of the solar system and is very small, about the size of our moon. In fact, it's the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury has one side permanently locked to the sun, while the other stares in empty space. This leads to a major temperature difference between the two sides. Mercury also orbits in an oval-like fashion, but even this oval isn't stable, shifting positions and forming a daisy-like pattern around the sun. This makes Mercury's temperature vary even more drastically. Venus is the real runner-up of our solar system. Being the second planet away from our sun, the second brightest object in our solar system, and the second hottest. Venus is also the closest planet to Earth distance-wise and is the most similar size to Earth. Venus's day is actually longer than its year, a trait shared by no other planet in our solar system. Although Venus is the second brightest and hottest object in our solar system, it's the first in both of these categories when excluding the sun, because obviously the sun's hotter than any other planet in our solar system. But wait, Venus is the second planet away from the sun, but it's the hottest and brightest. How does this happen? It's because of Venus's extremely thick atmosphere. It was once completely gone, but Venus's extremely active volcanoes pump tons of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into Venus's atmosphere, forming a thick atmosphere that traps in heat and light, baking the planet's surface. Wait, why does this sound so familiar? I swear I've heard this before. Well, anyways, Earth remains as the only known planet to support life. It also has one moon, a quite large moon. It's the largest moon in comparison to its host planet. Earth is our home and has one of the most stable orbits in our solar system. It's the largest of the rocky planets spanning about 12,000 kilometers in diameter. The next planet is Mars. Mars has two moons, which were both believed to be caught up from the asteroid belt. Mars's soil has iron oxide or rust in it. This gives Mars's signature red color. Mars is also home to the solar system's largest volcano, Olympus Mons. This monster is visible from space. It has a base the size of France and is about two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. When probes searched Mars, they found trace evidence for water. Maybe Mars could have been fostered life just like Earth. However, Mars habitability deserves a video of its own. A massive asteroid belt separates Mars from the next massive planet, Jupiter. Jupiter is in a different class from the other previous four planets, being the largest planet in our solar system and having no solid surface. Jupiter is believed to have 79 moons, and one of them, Ganymede, is the largest moon of the solar system. Jupiter's surface is covered with chaotic winds and storms, the largest of which is the famous Great Red Spot several times the size of Earth. After Jupiter, we have Saturn, the seventh planet of our solar system, and is best known for its beautiful ring systems. All gas giants have rings, it's just that Saturn's are the most vibrant and visible. Lesser known about Saturn is its hexagonal hurricanes at its poles. Scientists are still not sure why these are here, Although Saturn's rings from afar look like one solid shape, they're actually made up of millions, maybe even billions, of objects, ranging from the size of a grain of sand to miniature planets. 
Uranus is an interesting planet because it actually rotates on its side. Astronomers say this could be because of a violent asteroid impact that tossed the planet on its side. Deep within the planet, there could be ice and maybe even water. Because Uranus and Neptune are a lot smaller than Jupiter and Saturn, as well as having a higher amount of rock and ice, they are often referred to as ice giants. The other ice giant, Neptune, is the last planet in our solar system and orbits about 30 times farther than the Earth. This makes the Neptunian year over one and a half centuries. The sun out here looks like a tiny light bulb. Neptune has a handful of moons, but the most interesting one is Triton. It rotates clockwise, while Neptune rotates counterclockwise, making Triton the only moon to orbit the opposite direction of the host planet. We also call this a rotograde orbit. Beyond Neptune is the solar system's lesser known belt of asteroids and comets, the Kuiper Belt. It, this is also home to the solar system's most famous dwarf planet, Pluto. Way beyond this belt, we have the Oort Cloud, a sphere of rocks and ice that marks the end of the sun's observable gravitational influence and the end of our solar system. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, tap the like button, preferably faster than Neptune's orbit. And if you don't want to miss my next video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Goodbye everyone, and good luck to you.